guys, Rag here, and today I'm starting a new series. This series I've been thinking about for a while now that I want to do. It's basically going to be about comic books, because if you know me, I love comic books, and I get comic books about every week. So I'm going to do my a weekly comic book pull. In this series, I will be recommending you some comic books that I get, and telling you, giving you a review about them, saying if they're good, bad. I mean, I'm not going to get every comic, I'm just going to get the ones I want. And this week, I've gotten Batman Rebirth number 7, Green Lantern Rebirth number 7, Deathstroke Rebirth number 2, Doom Patrol number 1, Martian Manhunter Special number 1, Uncanny X-Men New Teen Titans, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 14, Deathstroke New 52 number 18, and Suicide Squad Rebirth number 2. Uh, first, we have Batman number 7 Rebirth. This is the new arc for the Batman story. The first arc was about Gotham and Gotham Girl. This arc is about the Monster Men, and if you read the first arc, you would realize that name was mentioned a lot. I'm not going to spoil much about this arc, but I can tell you there are giant monsters that are men. But um, Yeah, funny meme, right? Yeah, funny meme. And so far, the Batman Rebirth stories have been really good, so I highly recommend this, and I highly recommend all the Batman Rebirth. It's probably my favorite so far in the Rebirth line. I've been getting a lot of them, especially like every number one. So I do highly recommend the Batman ones. They're probably my favorite so far. Up next, we have Green Lantern Rebirth number seven. I have not read this one yet because I am missing five and six. And I didn't realize this when I bought it because I was just buying a bunch of comics that day. And I didn't realize I've been missing five and six of the Green Lanterns. But one through four, I can tell you, is pretty good. It has to deal with Red Lanterns invading and stuff like that. And the two new Green Lanterns, eh, they're okay. I much prefer Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart, but they're pretty good. They got story, their characters being a little bit developed. But I'm still not the biggest Green Lantern fan in the first place. I get these for my dad because he likes Green Lantern. So I don't really have much of a say on this because I'm not a fan of it. And I just kind of read it when I'm bored, like the ones I already have. It's not like my first pick when I'll go to the comic book store to get it. I'll pick the Batman or Deathstroke over the Green Lantern. But, you know, so far it's okay. Nothing special, or at least in my opinion. If you like Green Lantern, you might like it. I have no idea. I'm not a Green Lantern fan. Up next, we have Suicide Squad Rebirth number two. Ugh. Gosh, I really enjoyed the New 52 Suicide Squad. I have the entire New 52 series of it, but mm, this is a disappointment so far. I mean, it's only two comics so far, but eh, I, I'm not. I don't like what they did with the characters, with the team. They got rid of some of the teammates that I liked, like Black Manta and King Shark, and they replaced them with Killer Croc and Enchantress. And people from the movie, and yeah, I know people that like Killer Croc, but I don't want him on my Suicide Squad. I want King Shark. I don't want the people from the movie. On, you know, and Katana. I completely forgot she was in there, but she, I don't see her on the Suicide Squad. She's supposed to be a superhero, not a villain that's been taken over by Argus. And I know they explain why she's here, but still, she wasn't in the New 52 one or any of the past ones that I've read. I mean, you can correct me on this, but I don't think she's ever been in it other than the movie and Rebirth. So I don't really like her in this. It doesn't fit the Suicide Squad. It's not like, oh yeah, a bunch of, you know, villains that are forced to do hero work. This is just a hero working with a bunch of villains who are forced to do hero work. So, I mean, it's only two comics so far. Uh, actually, it's three. The Rebirth, number one, and number two. So, I don't really have a say on it at the moment. Maybe it'll get better. But, eh. I mean, it's if I rather the Batman over this one. Because Batman started off strong. I really enjoyed the Batman start off. But I'm still going to get these because I really enjoyed New 52. Suicide Squad, and I thought the movie was fine. I don't see the hate for it. I mean, it wasn't, like, excellent, but it was just a dumb action movie, and it felt like a comic book to me. It felt normal. It felt like I was reading a comic, and I mean, some of the parts were, eh. I didn't really like Killer Croc in it, and I, you already know my opinion on Katana. I don't feel like she should be in it. So, 
that's all that's that's my decision so far on Suicide Squad that I'm not really liking it but you know it could get better it, it really could so I'm still gonna pick it up and continue picking up for now at least maybe it, it might just not be it might be just me it might be that I don't like it but yeah this is this is one of my least favorites I picked from this week and number one was not that good either so and this might be just my opinion it could be really good and i'm just really stupid so yeah that's that's my choice for suicide squad number two it's an ah eh. and up next we have deathstroke rebirth number two so deathstroke is my favorite comic book character uh no if ands about it i love me some deathstroke especially like he's been my favorite since the original teen titan show like, ever since then, man, that is still my favorite version of Deathstroke, even though he was called Slade in there. I, I love the suit in that show. And I started picking him up at New 52 because I wasn't big into, you know, collecting that. I was DC Comics at the time. I was, I have a ton of Ghost Rider comics that I collected back then, like the 90s Danny Catch ones. But I wasn't big into it because it, it just seemed too overwhelming with all the DCs because there were so many of them. And whenever I went to flea markets, they really didn't have many of them. Most of the comics were Ghost, Rider, Ghost Riders and Justice League and stuff like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, why were most of the comics Ghost Riders that I picked up? They were like everywhere. I need to go back and reread that to see if it was really a trashy series that are only worth getting at, you know, flea markets. But, but getting off topic, uh, Deathstroke Rebirth number two. It's good if you don't know Deathstroke's story. Uh, so far, it's been a lot of flashbacks, a lot of explaining, which it's supposed to be because, you know, it's the beginning, it's rebirth, it's um, trying to get new fans, new things, and Deathstroke's been coming really popular lately with him going to be in the new Batman live action movie, and mm, that suit looks excellent. Can't wait for that. And he's popped up all over. He was in Arrow. He's been in a lot of stuff a lot lately, and I'm glad for that because he is my favorite comic book hero slash villain. He's just my favorite comic book character, and I think his character is really good. So I am so far pleased with the the comics so far, the Rebirth, but I already know a lot of the background, so it's a little bit redundant for me, but if you don't know it, it is a great place to jump on because he's still one of my favorite characters and i highly recommend picking it up if you don't have any of the death if you haven't even read any Deathstroke comics because it explains a lot of it and starts you off fresh so yeah you should definitely go pick it up all right this right here is my favorite comic book i've picked up this week or actually at all of the new dc stuff this is my favorite dc book that i've picked up doom patrol number one for the love of God, pick this comic book up. I want this to do well. It's by the DC Young Adult, uh, Young Animals comics, which is more of their edgy, mature comics and just weird and all out there. It's like in its own separate universe, so you're not going to see them do team ups, or at least that's what I'm thinking. It would be cool if they do team ups. But if you don't know who Goom Patrol is, it's basically uh, heroes that are outcasts from society, no one likes them, blah, blah, blah. And their leader is a guy, a telepath thick man in a wheelchair sounds familiar yeah x-men well guess who came first mm, doom patrol and marvel won't admit it but they definitely did copy from doom patrol uh doom patrol came out like i think it's like four or five months before the first x-men comic came out and they their sales have been eh, and they've disappeared for a while they're one of those comic books i'm glad are coming back they're on the list of ones I wanted to come back, like Metal Men. I need a new Metal Man. Metal Man's another old one I really like that I really want to come back. And I'm glad this one came back. I'm glad it came out for the DC Young Animals, which is their more edgy DC books where they will put adult stuff in that stuff. And mm, this is this is solid. This is really good. It's it's an acid trip. That's all I can explain it as. It's all over the place. And if you like Adult Swim humor like that all over the place comedy that makes no sense this is it this is just extremely funny and just extremely crazy with it it's like none of the dc line rebirth yet that's why they probably put it in uh into this whole new dc young animals which 
as I said before, the more edgier version of DC. I mean, uh, it it goes all out, and you know, have you if you haven't read the Constantine, Constantine usually curses, but you know they blare out the curses. No, in Doom Patrol, one of the main villain or. I'm guessing will be one of the main villains literally says fuck two times in a sentence and it highlights it it makes it in bold like oh yeah we're edgy enough to say this <laughs> but it, that's that's only in like one section it's not like the whole book is i'm just saying yeah we're edgy and we can do this no nah, it's 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 good it's really good and i really want it to sell well and i really hope it does so i really want any any everybody to go pick this up please go pick this up it <laughs> It is very good, very good. Just, just, just for whatever you do, even if you don't collect comics and you want to start off, and eh, maybe you shouldn't go pick this one off if you don't collect comics and want to start off, because it's not really, you know, go, go start off with Batman Rebirth if you're gonna do that, not, not Doom Patrol number one. But if you do collect comics and you're looking for something different, Doom Patrol number one, and I can't wait for number two. I seriously can't wait. This, I want to know where this story goes. Uh, next up, we have the Deathstroke New 52 number 18. And why number 18 is... I'm missing 18 and 19 for the New 52 Deathstroke to complete the series. Because I have everything else. I just need 18 and 19. I mean, I got 20, but I don't have 18 and 19. And I've been looking for these two for about like three weeks now. And I finally found 18. But I still don't have 19, and it's good. I read it. It's basically Deathstroke and his son and daughter fight off uh, these people that have been hunting down Deathstroke for a while in the the this arc of the Deathstroke New 52. And I haven't read number 20 yet because I'm waiting for 19 to read it, and then I'll read it, and I'll probably do a review on the Deathstroke New 52s. Uh, if you notice, I'm changing my channel a little bit more towards comics, but I'm still going to do gaming. My channel's going to have a lot of change, but that's not what this video is about. And it's good. If you haven't read any of the new 52 Deathstrokes, pick them up. They have the graphic novels. I mean, they're like 15, 16 bucks for the graphic novels. And then, yeah, and I, I got the graphic novel with the, you know, beautiful, beautiful mask, which is on my shelf. Nice and neat. But yeah, it's it's good. I, I recommend this if you're going to go read any of the New 52s, the Deathstrokes, because I have the entire New 52 Deathstroke and entire New 52 Suicide Squad, and I read all the entire New 52 Batman, and I have a few of them, not all of them, and my favorite is probably Deathstroke. Th those were pretty good. They were pretty good. So I don't have much to say about this since, you know, it's not any of the Rebirth. It's nothing new. It's literally just me getting something to continue to finish off a collection. So... Now we're going to go on to the next one. Alright, so the next three comics are three ones I got for free because the comic book store signed a deal with a school that sold coupon cards and it, one of the coupons on it is three free comics and it's one of those coupon cards you can use until the end of the year forever. And yeah, so, well, end of the year till forever. Uh, no, end of the year as many times as you want, what I should have said. But it's... The three I picked up were just three random ones because I usually pick up uh, three more of the Ghost Riders of the 90s Danny Catch one because I don't, I'm not finished with that. I have like 20 more to go out of the 94 of them there are. Yeah, I've been collecting these since 2005 and I usually get like five or 10 of them at the flea market every year. So I'm just missing a few of them now. And so, since half the comic book store was at, like, a comic convention, they took the Ghost Riders, and I, I, I was upset about that. So I just looked around to see what they had left over, and the three I picked up were uh, an Uncanny X-Men and Teen Titans team-up, which was really interesting. A Martian Manhunter special, which came out in, like, early 2000s, which was interesting. And Guardians of the Galaxy meets Ghost Rider. This was the only Ghost Rider one they had. And this is actually a two-parter. And I have the first part. I got it a while ago. So I just picked up the second one recently since it's free. Uh, the Uncanny X-Men and the New Teen Titans was pretty good. It was, uh, one of, it was interesting. It came out in the 80s. And it was, and it was a simple story. It's... Dark sides just come to invade Earth again, and Teen Titans and X Men must team up to face them. Nothing special about it. It was just literally just that, and that's about it for it. I mean, I say go read it because it's good, 
and it's one of the older ones and it you can tell a difference in it because Teen Titans they reference Avengers and Justice League I feel like in the 80s especially with a lot of the team ups they felt like they were in the same universe like you know DC and Marvel same universe but nowadays you don't ever there's not many of the cross uh, cross company team ups or at least not that I can think of or at least they're not as common as they were in I believe the 90s for that because there was all that Marvel versus DC uh, comic book line which was so stupid which I do have and ever since then there hasn't been a lot of the team ups as there was in the past but that's not what this is about I'll maybe talk about that later but yeah if you see it pick it up it's like it was like a dollar so that's kind of cool uh, next one I got was the Martian Manhunter special which was just it was interesting it was just, i'm glad i got it for free i mean i wouldn't bought it normally it, the comic was about a religious war in space and martian manhunter ended up in the middle of it but that's about it for it it was good it was like a one-off issue so you didn't have to get the second one or anything else to you know continue the story it was just that and that was it that's why it's called like martian manhunter special because that was it and then the last one i got was the guardians of the galaxy meets ghost rider like 14 because i already had 13 and i needed 14 even though i didn't even know 14 existed because i haven't read either of them kind of just have them there and i haven't read this one yet if you couldn't tell so i don't know anything about it but i don't even know if you should go pick it up or if you see it i just got it because it's got ghost rider and guardians of the galaxy which that movie was mm, excellent and that concludes this week's polls for the comics. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to try to make this a weekly series and change my channel a little bit. I'm going to try to do three videos a week. One of my comic book polls, then a random video of whatever my choosing. It, it, it could be just me just digging around in a video game or just a skit. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. That, or it might just not even be a video. It could just be two videos a week. And then just a, a let's play. Yeah, I'm sorry about, you know, Pokemon. That I haven't been doing that. And it's been like three weeks. I honestly have been like way, way too busy with schoolwork. I legit, I have two essays to do by tomorrow. And I'm doing this instead. Great waste of time. Yeah? Nah. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I've, because I'm taking early college classes, but that's not the matter. And so, I'm going to do that, try to do three videos a week, comic book pool, random video, and then let's play, and if I don't do the random video, then it's going to be just two videos a week. So, I will always get the comic books pulled, unless, you know, something happens where I don't get the comics, and then I might do a review of a comic, or just pick five random ones I have in my large collection of comics to review and tell you about to go pick up if you see them or talk about graphic novel might do a little review on a graphic novel i don't know it's just gonna be there's gonna be a video that's comic related every week so if you enjoy comics stay for it please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more and i'll see you all next time for the next video which will probably be a let's play if i don't become too busy or just forget about it so yeah have a nice day guys